In a previous video, I talked briefly about the two sections of the AP Lang exam, how section one was the multiple choice section, and section two was your free response or essay section. In this video, I wanna focus a little bit more on what that multiple choice section looks like. Section one, your multiple choice section, consists of 45 questions, and those are divided into reading questions and writing questions, and it's about an even number of each with just a few more reading questions total than writing questions. The weight of section one is 45% of your uh, exam grade, and it's timed at 60 minutes, 60 minutes to complete 45 questions. Here is a kind of breakdown of how these skills are tested on the exam. You'll see that roughly a quarter of the exam tests over your awareness of rhetoric and rhetorical situation. Another quarter roughly tests over uh, your ability to discern uh, claims and evidence and pick apart arguments. Another quarter finally over your ability to analyze the reasoning and organization uh, behind a text. So in other words, its structure, how those arguments are structured and organized. And then lastly, uh, the last quarter uh, is your uh, understanding of how style is used to achieve particular effects. So those are the four big, uh, what they call big ideas for the course, uh, rhetoric, uh, argument, structure, and style. Here is how the reading and writing questions break down in the exam. You're given two sets of reading questions. A set is just a grouping of questions that belong to a particular passage. And then you have three sets of writing questions. So uh, three sets of questions that belong to a writing passage. Let's take a look at some specific examples of reading versus writing questions. This is what the beginning of a reading set might look like. It starts with the kind of passage you're used to seeing on standardized tests. It's a passage to read, and then there are questions that follow up uh, asking you about the passage. Uh, the thing to keep in mind about the AP Lang exam is the reading questions will all ask about how the passage is composed. So it, really, they're all writing questions in a way. Uh, it's just these are more traditional reading comprehension questions that you'll see, but they're all framed as uh, asking about the various choices that a writer makes and the various meanings behind those choices. And here are a couple of multiple choice reading questions based on that passage. Yeah, number 14 reads, in the first sentence of the passage, the speaker engages the attention of the audience with which of the following types of statements? A, a solemn oath, B, a traditional formula, C, a cautionary recommendation, D, a candid confession, and E, a skeptical apology. You'll notice right away that the AP Lang exam doesn't test you over specific rhetorical techniques like those Greek and Latin terms that we looked at earlier in the course. Uh, and that's because they don't expect, they don't have like a particular list for students to memorize. And so every student's going to have a different grasp of different terms coming into the test. So instead, they'll ask about more general techniques. Uh, to answer this question correctly, uh, you really just need to know what all the words mean. You need to know what an oath is, what a recommendation is, what a confession and apology is, and you know what solemn means, uh, what candid means, uh, and so you do have to have kind of an elevated vocabulary, but you don't know, you don't have to know specific devices necessarily. Here is an example of a writing set. It starts off with a writing passages and you could, passage, and you could always tell it's a writing passage because it says at the beginning, the passage below is a draft. And so it's supposed to kind of resemble a student written uh, like first draft of uh, an essay. And uh, the questions all deal with uh, revising and editing that draft. Yeah, here are some questions uh, that you might see on a writing set. Yeah, number 26, the writer wants to avoid revealing any potential biases in sentence five, which is reproduced below. Sun and Vazir conspire on an experiment to study the latter category. Which of the following versions of the underlined portion of sentence five best accomplishes with this goal? 
A, as it is now, meaning no change. B, dreamed up instead of conspired on. C, fabricated. D, threw together. Or E, design. You have to decide which of those is the best choice uh, to replace the underlined part there, to uh, eliminate any uh, potential bias that sort of thing. So this is what uh, read, uh, writing questions look like. Uh, you see these sort of questions on uh, SAT and ACT in the writing section or the English section for ACT.